in Windows 7 there was this useful feature where you could compare your computer's score, which is based on its performance, to other people's computer scores. <laughs> and it was called the Windows Experience Information Bullshit. But they've removed this in Windows 10, and it's kind of annoying. So I'm going to show you how to access it today. So first of all, you want to press Windows and R, so that opens the run prompt, and then you want to type in shell, two dots, and then games, and you want to press OK. Now this shows your score here. But to update it, all you got to do is you want to go into your command prompt, you can get it easily by going Windows R CMD, or you can right click your Windows icon and go to command prompt, admin, or command prompt. Now, all you gotta type in there is win sat pre pop. Now, let that run. I've already had it run, so it ran fairly quickly. And then you want to go into here. So, you wanna type in Windows PowerShell. Then you wanna click that. Then you wanna. If you have nothing in this box and you wanna press spacebar about three times and it loads that bit, then that bit. Then in here you want to type in this. Get minus WMI object minus class win32 underscore winsat. So what that command basically does is they retrieves the Windows experience score and from the test that you just ran in the command prompt. So then you'll press enter. So there we go, so this is our score here, so it shows you your CPU score, your graphics score, so mine's a 9.9, disk score, uh, so it would go higher than 6 if you had an SSD installed, I don't, I just have 3 big hard drives. So graphics and D3D are basically the same thing, uh, memory score, so that's decent, and this is your overall score. So this is all of these added together, they find the mean, and that's it. So I hope I hope I've helped you with this tutorial. <clears throat> I'll catch you in the next one.